Hi guys, I'm Nazmul Hassan. Today, I'd like to discuss about the port calibration of VNA. It's a very important topic because as an engineer, when we spend a lot of time behind our device design and after the fabrication, during the measurement, if we make any mistake, whole time behind the design of our device is wasted. So as an engineer, we must know how to do measurement of our device properly. And calibration is related to the measurement of our device because during the measurement of our device we need to calibrate the port of VNA and in this video I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure to do calibration of your VNA ports so let's start our calibration process this is an Echelent E5071B VNA we can measure up to 8.5 GHz with this network analyzer. It has four ports indicated by a broken line in the picture as you can see. For any measurement purpose we need to connect our device under test or DUT with any of these four ports. But before using any port of VNA we must calibrate that port in order to ensure a precise and accurate measurement. Full two-port calibration can be done by using SOLT technique. SOLT is the acronym of four words. It stands for short, open, load and throw. In order to eliminate any measurement error, we must calibrate the ports of VNA before any sort of measurement. Now, in order to calibrate any port of VNA, we need to use a calibration kit, or in short, we call it CalKit. In the picture, you can see a Keysight 85033E CalKit. It has three terminals, S for short, L for load, and O for open. We also need an additional true calculate for two port calibration. However, for single port calibration, true calculate is not necessary. In another video, I showed how to calibrate a single port of VNA, so those who are interested can watch that one first. Usually, this calibration kit comes with such wooden box as shown in the picture, and. The box contains CalKit along with some other stuffs. This is a Keysight CalKit, as I already pointed out earlier that it has three terminals, S for short, O for open, and L for load. And this one is the true CalKit. We need to connect two coaxial cables on its two sides. True CalKit is only necessary for two port calibration. For single port, we don't need it. And these are the standard 50 ohm coaxial cables that I'm going to use for calibration and any sort of measurement purpose. All right, this is the Agilent E5071B VNA. We have connected two separate coaxial cables in port one and two and then we connected the other ends of the coaxial cables to calkit coax of port 1 is connected to short terminal and port 2 is connected to open terminal now press cal button make sure your calkit model number is already selected correctly this is my calkit model number now press calibrate and select two port calibration. You can see there are three options, reflection, transmission, and isolation. We will only perform reflection and transmission, and the isolation is optional. So select reflection. Since port one is connected to short, so select short for port one, and port two is connected to open, so select open for port two. Now this time connect port 1 coax to load and port 2 to short. And then select load for port 1 and short for port 2. 
And now connect the port 1 to open and port 2 to load. And then select open for port 1 and load for port 2. And then press return. Now disconnect the Cogel cable from CalKit. We will now connect the true CalKit. Alright, we have connected the true CalKit. That means two ports are in transmission mode. So press transmission now. And then port 1, 2, true. Alright, then press return. And then press done. So that's how we complete the two port calibration of VNA. Since calibration is complete, now we will check if our calibration is fine or not. Don't remove the true calculate yet. Since port 1 and port 2 are directly connected by this true calculate, that means signal can be transmitted from port 1 to port 2 without any loss. And S1 magnitude must be zero in this case. So let's check that. Go to measure and select S21. Now we can see S21 is 0 dB. The plot information can be read above as S21 magnitude. This makes the successful calibration of two ports of VNA. I hope you understood the process. Thanks for watching my video.